Hey, it's Chucky here from SojournerScholar.com. In this video, I will be pitching the ACT prep courses from the Test Prep Giants, the Princeton Review, and Kaplan to help you determine which of these courses can boost your students' ACT scores the most. Now, this review is based on our experience purchasing and using both of these ACT prep courses over several weeks. So let's dive in. To kick things off, let's highlight the main similarities and differences between both of these ACT prep courses. Both platforms offer ACT courses in the form of self-study, live classes, and personalized tutoring packages. And as for supplementary prep features, students looking to prep on the go don't get any access to mobile apps on either of these platforms. On both platforms, you will find official ACT practice questions. However, the amount differs as I'm going to be pointing out later. For the main differences, at the time of this review, the Princeton Review offers in-person classes in several locations, whereas Kaplan no longer offers in-person ACT prep classes. While both platforms reference full-length official ACT practice materials, Material, only Kaplan has the exclusive license from the ACT Inc. to deliver official ACT practice questions digitally. Also, Kaplan's self-paced course is provided with six months of access, while access to the Princeton Review self-paced platform is provided for one year. The Princeton Review offers physical prep books when you purchase any of their teacher-led ACT prep packages, while Kaplan does not ship out any of their ACT prep books. Now let's delve into the specifics and discuss how both of these courses performed in the different areas that we assessed. Starting with the lesson quality, Comparing the self-paced video lessons on how engaging they are to the demographic of ACT test takers, I would say that those on Princeton Review are better. Each video lesson on the Princeton Review self-paced platform is typically bite-sized at under five minutes long and shows a frontal view of the lesson instructor standing and teaching with a reverse glass board at all times, while those on Kaplan are a bit longer and are shot in a typical talking head style. Not to mention that there are over three times more video lessons on the Princeton Review's platform than they are on Kaplan's platform. As for the structure of the lessons, we like that both platforms incorporate short quizzes and drills within each of their video lesson sub-modules, which allows students to test their understanding of the lesson right away instead of looking for extra practice questions somewhere else on the platform. And when digging through the depth of ACT test-taking strategies, in our opinion, the Princeton Review beats Kaplan in the depth of ACT-specific strategies taught in the video lessons. Overall, the Princeton Review takes the win in this category. Now, on the topic of ACT practice material, Kaplan has about 2,000 online practice questions across all sections of the ACT in their questions bank while the Princeton Review provides about 1,200 ACT-like online practice questions. And therein lies the biggest difference. While the online ACT practice questions on the Princeton Review are designed to mimic real ACT practice questions, all of Kaplan's 2,000 plus online questions are from official ACT practice material, thanks to their exclusive partnership with the ACT Inc. And in terms of full-length practice tests, Kaplan provides five full-length official ACT practice tests in an online mode, while the Princeton Review references one official ACT practice test as a downloadable PDF. However, the Princeton Review provides nine full-length unofficial ACT practice tests and eight single-section unofficial ACT practice tests. Students can choose to complete this combined set of 17 practice tests in an online environment as well as in pencil and paper mode. Heading on to the answer explanations, Kaplan does a better job of providing a balanced mixture of video-based and text-based answer explanations, while the Princeton Review only provides text-based answer explanations to the practice questions they have on your platform. And seeing as the importance of practicing with official ACT practice material during your prep cannot be overemphasized, we give Kaplan the winner of this category. At the time of this review, the Princeton Review standalone self-paced ACT course starts at $300. In contrast, Kaplan's self-paced course with six months of access is priced at $119. So, on a cost per month of access, Kaplan's self-paced course is clearly the cheaper option. Furthermore, for an additional $200, buyers can get access to the Princeton Review's combined SAT-ACT course, while the Kaplan ACT course doesn't have this option. The Princeton Review's ACT Essentials course with 18 hours of instruction is priced at $949, which is equivalent to $53 per hour of live instruction, while Kaplan's live online ACT class package with 16 hours of classroom time starts at $549, which is equivalent to an hourly cost of about $34 per hour of live instruction. So once again, it's clear that Kaplan has a cheaper ACT Live class package. And to help families afford their teacher-led ACT prep courses, 
Kaplan offers monthly payment plans with 0% APR. As for their private ACT online tutoring option, the printing review starts at $180 per hour for 3 hours of tutoring and goes down to $150 an hour for 18 hours of tutoring, while Kaplan starts at $150 an hour for 5 hours of tutoring and goes down to $110 an hour for 40 hours of tutoring. So when you compare their starting tutoring rates, again Kaplan is the more affordable option. Now make sure to check out the description section below for the current prices of these ACT courses as well as any special discounts we might have found for our viewers. And for full disclosure, when you make a purchase using any one of our links, we might receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. So thanks for your support and let's get back to the review. In the area of student support, both the Princeton Review and Kaplan lack on-demand access to an instructor in their self-paced foundational course. However, students using Princeton Review's combined SAT, ACT self-paced course can get 10 hours of on-demand tutoring for an additional price of $200, while Kaplan does not offer this add-on support feature. As for the live class size, the Princeton Review caps its classes at 25 students, which allows students to get more interaction with the teacher. Compared to Kaplan, where their live class sizes could exceed this number. In addition, users of all live class packages on the Princeton Review receive on-demand access to an instructor via chat, as well as unlimited access to their daily virtual classrooms called the ACT Advantage Sessions. While Kaplan does not provide any of these extra support features to students using their live online ACT course. So considering the pros and cons of both courses and student support, the Princeton Review's ACT programs really separate themselves from Kaplan. As for the customer policies, the Princeton Review has a 100% refund policy if the self-paced course is cancelled within the first seven days, while no such money-back refunds are given for the course cancellation on Kaplan. And in terms of score improvement guarantees, the Princeton Review takes the clear lead here with its plus five point score increase guarantee. While Kaplan has no clear point score increase guarantees on any of their ACT course packages. So based on their favorable customer policies, the Princeton Review takes the clear lead over Kaplan. Considering the pros and cons of the ACT prep program from these two test prep giants, you can see that the Princeton Review takes the lead over Kaplan in more categories. If you're stuck deciding between these two test prep giants, I will highly recommend the Princeton Review over Kaplan, particularly for those families who are looking for a live ACT prep course. As the Princeton Review offers more options for student support than Kaplan. Furthermore, while the Princeton Review's platform lacks ample official ACT practice material, you can always supplement your student's prep on the Princeton Review by purchasing the official ACT prep guidebook, which includes six full-length ACT practice tests that could be completed online. And that will do it for this comparison review. I hope this video helps you make a better purchasing decision. Until next time, happy ACT prepping.